With a diverse assortment of educational institutions and social environments that are lovingly recognized across the nation, the HBCU experience is truly a culture like no other. HBCUs, formerly known as historically black colleges and universities, were created to ensure African Americans could receive a high quality education after being denied access to white institutions. The history and importance of HBCUs start far beyond its origin, dating back to the times of severe oppression and racism. African-Americans were enslaved for over 400 years. African-Americans were considered to be a legal form of property during the 18th and 19th centuries. In 1865, at least half of the United States abided by the 13th Amendment. The 13th Amendment states neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. The 13th Amendment abolished slavery in 1865 to protect the rights of newly freed people. Congress enacted two additional constitutional amendments. In 1868, the 14th Amendment was created to guarantee African Americans citizenship rights and promised that the federal government would enforce equal protection of the laws. While the implementation of the 13th and 14th Amendments provided African Americans with certain rights, equality had not yet been obtained. Racial segregation in American schools stood as the catalyst for the creation of historically black colleges and universities. African Americans with hopes of gaining a higher education turned to HBCUs, the primary source of trades geared to advance the education of blacks in an otherwise divisive society. Higher education was non-existent for African Americans until historically black colleges came about. Congress officially defines an HBCU as a school established before 1964 whose principal mission was and is the education of black Americans. In the 1930s, 121 historically black educational institutions, both private and public, existed. But now in the present day, 101 historically black colleges and universities are still standing. A major draw for students looking to attend historically black colleges and universities is the sense of community one gets when entering their specific institution. I think it's important to go to HBCU for college because uh, it's really good to embrace the black culture. Um, right now I go to a predominantly white school and I just kind of want a change and I want to be able to be around people um, who look like me, who act like me, um, be around people who embrace their culture like me, and I just want to be able to learn in a safe environment where, you know, everyone is um, black, you know, so yeah. Those who have found a safe haven within their HBCU credit it to the attention and care the administration gives to their students. went to PWI first and then I transferred to HBCU. So just because I was from Jackson, Mississippi, I wanted to kind of leave Jackson, but I ended up coming back. And coming back to HBCU really helped me because I'm not just a number here. They care about what I want to do. They care about my career. They care about how my life is going and everything like that. And you can go other places and it won't be the same way. Being at this HBCU has brought me so many more opportunities. I've met so many good people. Networking is amazing. It's just everything. They really care here. And you don't get that at every, every college. Some will go as far as to say HBCUs provide a familial aspect, a path for blacks to achieve excellence and become successful despite the daily challenges African Americans face in today's society. I love Jackson State because it's very family oriented. Uh, the vibe is just there. And I feel like you should choose the HBCU because the, you can't get this experience nowhere else. Like it's, it's like home from home. So I, I honestly feel like everyone should attend the HBCU. At the core of HBCU's existence are its highly respected traditions. The academics, dedication to community service by way of Greek organizations, and alumni centered events, hold great importance as it's been cultivated throughout the years. 
Founded on the importance of academic rigor, HBCUs place value on its educational practices. Of the many misconceptions regarding HBCUs, the most common myth is the belief that historically black institutions provide its students with an inadequate education. For two consecutive years, Howard University, a predominantly black institution founded in 1867, has successfully competed against Ivy League and predominantly white institution, Harvard University. Equipped with the necessary knowledge, Howard University defeated Harvard University and clearly demonstrated the talent possessed by HBCU students. How does one determine there's no place like home when it's time to come back home? A time of great celebration, HBCU homecomings promote enthusiasm for one's educational institution and encourage fellowship between students and alumni. For decades, HBCU homecomings have been the events heard across the globe. Known for their distinct customs, an HBCU homecoming is a gathering one must see to believe. Not an event to be taken lightly, an HBCU homecoming provides the platform for black culture to be displayed on a large scale. At HBCUs, the love for community extends far beyond the campus. On any given day, one can expect to witness acts of community service done by students on and off campus. Arguably the largest vehicle for community service throughout HBCUs are the various Greek organizations present on campus. So there's a lot of tradition and culture um, at HBCUs that are so much different than um, PWI cultures and traditions. For one, our, our homecomings. They're much more extravagant, they're bigger. Um, it's really just like um, a, fam a really huge family reunion. Um, you have um, just everybody coming back and really excited to see each other. Um, especially at Hampton, we have the Step Show with Tulsa Five where there's vendors and um, just different things that you can do that really immerse you into HBCU culture. Um, Since their formation, HBCUs have grown in recognition and notable alumni, with graduates of high caliber like Morehouse graduate Martin Luther King Jr. and Howard University Bison Tony Morrison. It comes as no surprise that HBCUs are held in such high regard. Student appreciation for HBCUs doesn't stop come graduation. In fact, alumni tend to encourage family to attend HBCUs following high school. Most often, this is seen through parent and child relationships. So our question for you is this. How did you introduce Illy and your other daughter, Olivia, who's a freshman here, to your illustrious HBCU? And how does it feel now that you have two of your little girls walking the campus that you used to walk? It is awesome. I introduced them in, I think, eighth grade or ninth grade, bringing her to um, someone who won't be mentioned didn't really want to go to Hampton initially and told me four times they were never coming, they didn't like homecoming, uh, they want another experience, I'm going to live my own life. And boom! Here she is right, right here. here, my baby girl. Right here at the So illustrious. when she announced she was going to Hampton, no one was more surprised than me. But all I did is I you know, just kept showing them what, what it had to offer and then letting it sink in. You can only come here so many times before you stop, look around, and actually look beyond your parent or look beyond whoever brought you and say, wait a minute, how do I see myself? As a result of HBCU's distinct institutions composed of highly intelligent and sought after alumni, HBCUs provide an experience that encapsulates a culture like no other.